tragic breaking news coming in this evening. Matthew Perry, actor from Friends, is dead at 54. Hey up, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, uh, joined with Andy on this absolutely shocking piece of news that I've we've both just learnt like a few minutes ago. I- I'm absolutely flawed at this. Like this I is had out to check of the a blue. few sources because TMZ reported it first, and I was just like, "What? This can't be!" And it's just starting to break as we're posting this, guys. And I'm sure more details will come. But yes, uh, it's now popping up on several other sites. Apparently today on Saturday, source, law enforcement sources tell us the actor was found at an L.A. home. Uh, unclear where, whose home, still waiting on those specifics. But uh, we're told he appears to have drowned. Our sources say first responders rushed over on a call for cardiac arrest. It's unclear where exactly on the grounds this happened. Or sort TMZ sources say he was found in a jacuzzi at the home. And we're told there was no drugs on the scene. We're also told there was no foul play involved. I mean, it seems kind of early to know all this, but yeah, I'm looking at other sources here. Same report coming in from page six, New York Post. Uh, first responders received a call to the property of a person suffering cardiac arrest. Perry obviously rose to fame as Chandler for 10 season on Friends. He had a long history of drug and alcohol abuse, which he had been candid about in his new book and had gotten sober. A uh, new book, which I have here, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, um, I'm sure this book will skyrocket up now due to how this typically goes. But I, honestly, I'm just, we don't have much more info and I'm shocked. I mean, I'm not shocked in that I know Matthew has struggled, right, for so many years. Like, it's just one of those things that I think people were, were worried this could happen to him for the longest time, given all this trouble he had with his substances and so on. Uh, but to know that this now has happened at age 54, um, after he seemingly got his life back together, he was on a tour out there. I mean, he got a little flack for seemingly hating on Keanu Reeves. But aside from that, people were were really grateful for all the stuff he was talking about in this book, all the life lessons he was sharing, the times he admitted he almost died. And it was like, finally, you didn't die. We got you. You, you, you made it. And now to hear that he didn't, and it's from a drowning? I'm at a complete loss, guys. So we're going to keep you updated as this comes, but we were both available as this broke, and we thought, let's do a quick recap for you guys so we can all react together. Uh, truly, truly, truly heartbreaking, tragic, and shocking news. Steph, I mean, what are your thoughts on this? This is wild. I'm, I, I, <laughs> that basically, like, I'm just speechless. This was not on my bingo card for 2023. He was only 54 years old. They're still young guys. And the one thing that's kind of like uh, swirling through my head at the moment is how do you drown in a jacuzzi? Like, I, I, I don't know. It just, it, the circumstances are weird. And as we get more news and more updates as to, you know, the circumstances surrounding, you know, his death, we'll certainly keep you updated and bring those details to light. But I'm absolutely just dumbfounded. Absolutely dumbfounded at the moment. It's, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. How, how can this Yeah, happen? I mean, the, the, the news is starting to break in. I'm, I'm seeing as we're happening, it's live. People now reporting it. Because I'm waiting for, like, confirmation from someone other than TMZ, you know, but it does seem like, yeah, several outlets are now starting to report. I mean, they're all quoting TMZ, mind you, but no official word from his representatives. I mean, it said Saturday, today is Saturday. So it clearly just happened. I'm on his Instagram searching. I've been all over guys. And I'm sure in the minutes to come, as you're watching this more and more, we'll get updated. Uh, but truly tragic update here, man. And yeah, it's just, it's sad because like I said, he's been through so much, and it seemed like he was on the upswing. And I'm with you, Steph. How do you just drown? I mean, cardiac arrest, maybe he had a heart attack in the jacuzzi. I'm sure a cause of death will help illuminate us as this goes and is confirmed. But rather than speculate, now is the time we have to just send our wishes to his family, his friends, literally his real-life friends, uh, and just how heartbreaking it is that we just lost Matthew Perry. I'm I'm still processing. It's truly tragic. Look, he was a instrumental part of that crew, and I would argue the funniest one. 
uh, his Chandler Bing is an iconic character that will go on forever. And, I, and I'm not the biggest Friends fan, but I was a big Matthew Perry fan. He was a really funny, charismatic, good looking guy. And he struggled. And I think that only made his star pop, you know, it just made him more interesting. And, and, and I, I was grateful to hear how he was help, trying to help others through this substance abuse. So for him to get out of that seemingly and for this to now happen is just tragic. And if this was just some drowning accident, well, it's even more tragic, but it's hard to not assume as, as many are, you know, quickly saying there were no drugs, no foul play, but, you know, was there in his system? You know, we don't know yet, obviously. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. We're gonna have to wait for the reactions from his co-stars and friends, because literally I think everyone is finding this out just as you are, as this is popping in feeds all over. And uh, this is gonna be a tragic one over the weekend and through next week, no doubt. So yeah, Steph, we'll keep you guys posted. Um, make sure if you haven't already hit the subscribe, hit the bell, obviously, so you get alerted. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Favorite Friends episode. Let's throw some love and tribute to Matthew Perry himself. Favorite movie. He did a lot of movies. Uh, the Whole Nine Yards was a really fun movie he did with Bruce Willis. Yes. Fools Rush In with Salma Hayek. Uh, Almost Heroes with Chris Farley. Two, clearly, two guys clearly struggling with substance abuse. Um, like he, He's done a lot of stuff out there. He did some t getting other TV appearances. And it seemed like he was on the upswing. So this this breaks my heart. And I'm just talking to you guys and we're just talking and talking and talking because that's how I process this type of thing. This is a shock. This is truly a shock. And uh, I'd put off the book. Honestly, I'll be honest. I had it and I'd put it off. But this makes me want to read it more. Um, his memoir is there. And a uh, moment of silence, I guess, for Matthew Perry. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I remember the um, Friends reunion show and, you know, I, I kind of like shared the same concern as, as many out there. You know, he he, he, he kind of like really appeared like not well in himself. He was slow in his words. He looked a little bit like mm, kind of like not there. Um so even though in his memoir, you know, he was like, you know, I'm clean, I'm sober, this, that, and the other. Um, the back of my mind, if I'm really going to be honest, I do think that he still had his demons um, with it that he had to be. Um, I suppose, you know, with those that are recovering from substance illicit use, you know, it is a daily battle and sometimes they fall, but, you know, they do get back up. People do get back up uh, and they win at life again. I just, oh, it's just, um, I'm looking at the moment in terms of like social media on the friend star. So Jennifer Aniston, Courtney, Cox, the, the rest of them. No one has mentioned anything at the moment about this. But again, this is news that has just been broken. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, we'll keep you up to date. This is literally breaking news in the last couple of minutes. Um, so if you want to be kept updated on you know, absolutely everything regarding this situation. Um, just make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell to all because as soon as we get any more details about this whole situation, we're going to let you know straight away. Um, and like and, and comment down below, what is your favourite Matthew Perry film or Friends episode? Um, let's celebrate him and let's think of the good times and the achievements uh, that he made in his life because there were many. There yes. were absolutely many indeed. Uh, with uh, that being said... Albeit it's an unfortunate video, but thank you so, so much for tuning in. Really appreciate your faces. And until the next time, you guys, laters.